Get out of the car. 4363, I've just been involved in a uh, fleet. I don't believe I have any injuries. The mob owned many of the hotels with the hidden ownership and the skimming. A lot of agents worked very hard with, with Metro and cleaned up the hidden ownership of these casinos. And now, 17 years later, I find myself working for a casino that is neither mob-owned or controlled. The Gold Coast. Almost all the employees and almost all the customers that come here are here for one reason, to have a good time. We have very few problems here, uh, but this is an industry with a lot of cash, and there are some people, it's rare, but people come here and try to take advantage of us. So we have a fairly elaborate surveillance system and camera system, which we use to protect ourselves and our customers. Here we are upstairs in what historically has been known as the eye in the sky. It goes completely around the main pit here at the Gold Coast. It is also at our, at our new pit on the addition. And you can see that it's a long corridor called, and what we stand on is what historically, when you hear people talk about the catwalk, and that's where our, our surveillance people used to stand. They had binoculars, telephones, and they were able to zero in on activity in the pit at the various games. Uh, if they saw something themselves, they could call the pit. We had telephones up here. Uh, if the guys in the pit saw something they didn't like, they were able to call up. But like everything else, technology catches up with us, and we no longer use this catwalk, except on very, very rare occasions. But for the most part, we went to uh, a far more sophisticated way of doing it, which now allows our people to uh, watch much more of the casino at the same time uh, through videotape. We're inside our surveillance room now, and as you can see, we're basically, uh, the camera that, that we're looking at now was in the same place on the catwalk that we're standing, that we were standing, and you can see how they can go straight into the game, they can count the chips on the racks, the red chips are $5 chips, the green ones are 25 and you can, if you come back just a little bit, you can see the hands and then you could focus in on an individual hand, you can fo focus in on the chip, the amount of the bet, the player. It's just, uh, it's remarkable uh, what these cameras can do. And uh, you can see that uh, they're excellent, they give us excellent pictures, uh, which is how uh, anybody that's ever tried to rob a casino in Las Vegas has been unsuccessful. Hey, one of the most common uh, thefts occurred are pitching and uh, cappers. Pitching would uh, be removing a, p a portion of the player's bet, his bet, so he wouldn't lose that much. His, uh, his odds are not in favor of him winning at this point, so he's removing a part of a bet before the dealer gets to his spot. Um, over here we have a rail bird. Rail bird, it's a person that'll stand near a player and craps and try to distract his attention. Over here you'll see a perfect example of the player ordering a drink and not paying attention to his money. This patron here, and the jacket will wait for uh, the right time. And over here, you can see him, he's just staring right at the bet. And as soon as uh, the time's right, he's gonna go in here and grab his money. And nine out of 10 times, the subject will just take a portion of it. Okay, what we have here is an incident where a player has a good hand and he wants to increase his bet, which is an illegal act. And it's, to, it's, it's definitely to his advantage. There's the move right there. The dealer caught it. And uh, the infraction could, could lead up to a year in jail with an illegal move. And uh, cheating in Las Vegas and table games, it's a write-off, it's a felon. You're on a felon charge when you cheat at any of the table games or any of our slot machines. And you see, she tossed it back. The dealer's doing a very good job of protecting the game. Here's another incident of a capping. He's got a $25 original bet. He has a very good hand, and he'll lay it on by using the card. All of a sudden, it becomes $50. You flip it over. In fact, the player's got blackjack, which he even, he even gets paid even more than his original bet. Here's an incident where the dealer's flashing her hit card to the players. Okay, what you're looking for is just to see the card a little bit. 
and she's looking at it too. She'll flash to the, to the there it goes right there. Flashing occurs. One of the oldest moves in the business. Here's a, just two weeks ago, here's an incident. The, the film is kind of blurred. This is one of our quad cameras, but you'll see a fellow here demanding the money from one of our change girls. And over here on the right-hand side, he's got uh, a small revolver in its holster. It's one of the holsters where you can fire through the revolver at the girl. And our policy here is our employees are not to resist a robbery, but try to get their best description. This girl, obviously, when somebody points a gun at you, you don't know what's going to happen, and she's reluctant to give him the money. Now he's just pulled the gun out of the, out of the holster itself, you see, and she's, he's demanding the money, and she doesn't want to give it to him. There's a struggle on the floor now, and we'll see another camera zero in, and we'll see him down here on the floor. He's still holding the gun, which was armed. There's the money down on the floor. Very dangerous situation when you have guns. Uh, they're just not successful here because our, it's inside. We have the cameras. This fellow's still struggling. Uh, the amazing thing about this is uh, this gentleman turned out to be a retired police officer from back east from a state that if you're convicted of a felony, you lose your pension. We're really proud here in Las Vegas of the security people to work in these casinos. They're all trained. They all do their job well. And, and uh, they never know what they're going to run into from day to day here. They work with Metro very well. And what he's doing with him now, they're taking him around the back of the building to where we have a place where we detain uh, people that need detaining. And we just call Metro. And uh, they'll come and take it from there. He's been charged and is currently in jail on, on uh, armed robbery charges. I think anyone that's ever came to Las Vegas realizes there's no place in the world you can come and spend two or three days and have more fun. But I think you will uh, realize by now that if you do come, don't try to cheat us. We're not going to cheat you, and if you try to cheat us, uh, you're going to go to jail. 911 emergency. There's someone out in front of my house shooting out a gun. Do you know who this guy is? I have no clue. Okay. He's come out here yelling. I, I think someone might be hurt because I can't tell though. Okay. Who's that? Who's that crying there in the back? I don't know. It's just they're just scared. I need someone to come here quick. No, I, I listen. Shot again. Okay, I understand, sir. Okay, we're gonna get someone there. Just stay on the phone with me, okay? Twelve five eight one to arrive the area. Well, we got a call of a subject that pulled up in a dark truck in front of a house and has been shooting a gun. And we're just around the corner. Frank, I'll call. That's right. AC 65. I think we got some people up here. Control door is 23. 23. Arrived at two other no mileage, and I'll be clear. What's going on out here? My, um, my daughter and a bunch of her friends were coming over here to get her medicine. Is that person with the gun still here? chasing her. Yeah. Original, they still here? No, originally somebody was chasing them with a gun. Somebody. It's clear. Who was shooting the gun? Nobody shot a gun. No, not to my knowledge. I live down at the end of the street, right. and I'm sitting in the living room. Let's go over here real quick, and then we'll okay. get this sorted out. I hear people screaming for help. <laughs> and I grabbed my pistol out of the drawer. Oh, by the way, I cleared it here. OK. Stay right there. OK, I want you to go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Put them together like you're praying. Put them together like you're praying. OK, spread your legs. Spread them a little more. You don't have another one or anything like that? OK. OK, go ahead. I'm listening. I came out the door and saw a big group of people. I started walking that way. They started screaming and hollering. Who was? The That's group the of people that were out here? Do you the know group who they of people, were? people, apparently they were kids. That's what we found out now. But they, apparently somebody was chasing them with a gun. And that's why they were screaming. Now how did you help. get that? Uh, just from the conversation here. Come here, guys. Are you getting any info? 
They're just not, you know, when the... This is my come daughter, Danielle. Come here, come here, I need to talk to you guys. She's, she can tell you the name of the kid. Okay, and one's name is Greg. Happened. We were just coming down the street. What? And this is Greg, okay. We were coming down the street, and I guess we were messing with him. He was like, get out of the road. We were like, you get out of the road. Just messing around, you know. And then they tried to kill. They were, uh, they had a gun. Story, they were going to kill him. <laughs> they threw him against the wall. And he, he's like, come on, Josh, like that. And then all of a sudden, that guy was there. He came out, he goes, freeze like that. And I didn't know who he was. And I was going to he can't do this that. guy did. He can't do that. Because they heard you all yelling that you had a, uh, somebody had a gun, right? Yeah, and we were scared. They told us to go away. And then they got you know, in. You know and these kids? Yeah, one of them rides my bus. And where do they live? Do you know that? <laughs> I thought he lived in the apartments, but the, I know the house that he's always at. I know the did, they, did they actually shoot the gun? Hey. No, he needs to go get these girls. She's scared. Okay. Did he point the gun at you or did he actually shoot? Did he shoot? No. But he was Just about point. he was gonna shoot up in the air. He was gonna shoot us. Okay. What? He never actually Why shot. Just no. Down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And give him. He needs. I can't. It's okay. Go ahead and get the descriptions and stuff. So. Okay. <laughs> Sir, obviously you had a problem with one of the kids. I was in the house with my wife watching TV with the kids. And you're and down by the corner. Right off Fudd. Okay. Okay. And I hear all this yelling and screaming come down the street. Did you hear what they were saying or yelling and yes. screaming about? Yes. They were uh, talking about Ray's daughter. Okay, you fat bitch, you and this and that. Don't uh -huh. tell us what to do and this and that and all that. And I'm like, these are little teenage kids. Was it these kids or was it some yeah, other yes, kids? Yes, it was, it was these kids. Okay, and that little girl in the striped shirt turns around and looks at me and says, what are you staring at, you And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. I don't take lip off little kids. I work uh -huh. for the county and I do, you know, I work with kids all the time and I don't take lip off. So Ray and uh, Gary, are following these kids down the street saying, you know, you got a problem, come back and let's talk about it. You know, they, I heard not one word about a gun and this and that. Right. All they're doing is they're turning around and they're cussing them out because they came up and his grandchildren. And who's Gary? Gary's the guy down here, the guy that had the gun. That's where, that's the first time I heard anything about a gun. They turned around here and Gary said, you y'all need to stop right here because I do have a gun. That's all he said. And then they're all freaking out. Somebody's chasing us with a gun and pointing us in the head with a gun. I never heard a word one about a gun before that. You have a voluntary get him started on one because now we're getting a whole different story. I'm not lying to you, I promise. <laughs> Did you find any shell casings? None. They're very cooperative. Let us check the car, check the room. I'm sorry, What's I'm their not story? Lying to you. They, they haven't been up. Sir. How many gun classes have you taken? Several. Several? In which class did they tell you to go out and confront a bunch of uh, teenage or juvenile out in the middle of the street with a gun? Nobody told me to go confront anyone with a gun. Okay. To me, what it sounded like is you got a bunch of smart mouth kids that live in the neighborhood. You're probably tired of their crap. I can understand that part. It still doesn't I, doesn't honestly, justify. Don't know okay, well, but whatever the problem nice is, you know that there was a problem and there were some kids with running their mouths. It wasn't appropriate. They were wrong. Hopefully, their parents are going to deal with that. I would just say next time, use your head a little bit. Keep the gun put away, unless there's actually a life-threatening situation, and this was not it. Okay, great. As it turns out, it doesn't look like we've really had a crime happen here, other than maybe some really rude kids that had some problems with their neighbors in the neighborhood and they bit off a little bit more than they could chew. We've dealt with that, we've dealt with the kids and hopefully that'll be the end of it for tonight. Been with Metro for about a year and a half now. Came from a smaller department in Durango, Colorado. Come here to work in the big city. A lot more stuff out here to do and it's a lot of fun. The thing I like about it most is uh, the teamwork out here. You work with a bunch of real good guys. Uh, to me, that's uh, a big part of the job, if you can get along with the people you work with and stuff, and we can come out here and have a good time. That's what I like about it most. We're uh, en route to a domestic now. So between two people is all we have. Unknown what's, uh, what's happening, they called 911 and nothing was said. Should be just right up here somewhere. So we've got another unit in the area already. Get several of these calls a night. We're here. It's a 404 and Charlie Foot. Nine Bonita. 
Anybody in back here, please? Uh, okay. Sir, just talk to me. What do you want us to do? I don't know. Wait. I'm going to call somebody for something, okay? I have a right. That's my right. I come in. Who is that? And he started. Talking. Somebody. Okay. So I told him I can't call the police. Make I'm going to go to social service. If he wants help, I can't live with the man. Trouble! She's trouble? Yes. What is she doing? I'm not trouble. Every damn thing you can think of. I'm going on 80 years old. I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a, I'm, in a, I'm a cripple. We've been married 20 years. I don't care. Yeah, we've been married eight, and, and uh, 20, month, 18 years. This is coming up. All right. What are we going to do to solve the problem tonight? The problem is that she has a big damn mouth. I, I haven't heard a word that oh. she said since I've been in here. Only you. Only you, Bernard. It's true. Come on, boy. You, you've been around a little bit, haven't you? Oh, a little bit. I have to. So I'm not a troublemaker. Okay. And you go into the room tonight, just hang out in the room tonight, so he'll calm down. Please, he's making it. Hey Bernard, she's willing to go halfway, okay? What, she I wants to go into the room, look, so quit being what. so stubborn and let's look, please. I am not gonna take that. I don't realize what's gonna happen sooner or later. She can, when I turn my head, she can hit me on the head. Now that's when I lie. turn my head, I she can do it. I think she probably would have done that already if she was going to do that. He's a sick OK, queen. do me a favor. Just I know. go ahead and, go ahead and take your cigarettes and everything into the room and try to hang out in there for a little while and see if we can get everything calmed down. So. I'm, I'm, OK. I ain't got nothing against nobody. Do you got somebody you can stay with tonight, Bernard? Hey, Bernard, do you got somebody you can stay with tonight? Myself, I'm not going out of my own home. No, I pay I'm everything either. here. I went the other way. Yeah. I pay everything. Can you go to a hotel here. tonight or something? No. Every no. Every no. Every no. Every no. Every Why should We're I? just uh, gonna have to. These, this is one of those situations where this is gonna happen. Oh yes, for it's gonna happen. It's going. Yeah, oh yes, it's gonna happen. Where maybe again and again. Maybe I don't know. Sure. Well, it's all been approved. You just stay here, relax. You don't talk to her. She's not gonna talk to you. Well, wait a minute. He's supposed to. He was only here five minutes ago. Well, five, ten had minutes. He what? Had it up to here. Probably, huh? Probably doesn't want to answer the phone now. What do you mean he won't? Answer? He's my friend. He's been my friend for years. Don't want to get involved. That's Come on, mean. don't tell me that bull. <laughs> Stop that bull. <laughs> you ain't kidding nobody, sister. You're not kidding anybody. Believe me, you're not. And if there's anything that happens. If anything happens, you boys are going to be in trouble. Okay, Believe Bernard, me, if anything happens, you give us a call back. Bernie, yeah. try this solution. Try this solution on, all right? You sit there and you don't say anything to her. You sit there, don't say anything to him. Problem solved, right? Please, I don't... There's a solution. No. I, no? Please, well, look, please, I God is my judge. I'd have it myself. I gotta go through tonight. Okay. I'll take my clothes out. I think we'll just leave you newlyweds alone, mm -hmm. you guys. Just stay newlyweds. Yeah. We've given you the only that solution that we can. That so. is a lot of. See you later, Bernard. Okay, okay. I don't think this is right, and I don't think it's fair. And I'm telling you now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, and I'm gonna write, and I am gonna have it, and I am gonna have it taped, and and if you don't think I ain't got a tape, Mister, I got news for you. I get three tapes if I need tapes. I'm going on 80 years old, but if, if there, anything happens... Okay, Bernard. Okay. You we'll can, see you ya. Can, you can say, you can do any... See, every time I try to call the police department, there's always someone that says, 
something different like the other night. He says he wants a solution, he gave him a solution, and he doesn't want to have anything to do with it, so did all we can do. It's only 12 o'clock now, they're pretty early to be fighting like this, because like I said, last time it came out about 4 and they were going at it. But what are you going to do? Couples in love. Exactly. <laughs> In, uh, East Patrol Division. Uh, we're a rapid response team, which means we don't necessarily have a district. We take care of the whole East Zone area. East Zone's kind of a diversified area is that it has different, it has everything from areas that are kind of poor to areas that are really pretty wealthy. Um, and it's spread out over a pretty good sized geographical area. So we see, we see everything from the, the small little uh, disturbances over property to homicides we get the whole gamut on a summer night i mean there's nights when we answer 25 calls in an eight hour shift and it's just boom boom one after the other that's going to be affirmative 308 apparently metro is responding with ray town at this time at 22. right now we're en route to assist another agency ray town which is the city just to the east of us is apparently in a car chase and they're chasing armed robbery suspects they are northbound on Van Brunt, and we are approaching Van Brunt now, so we should intercept them here in a few minutes. She may hop back on the highway, Jim. Northbound? She's looking at the back. Where? They're coming right out of us here. They might turn west. They're going to come out right here. They're going to come right out here. Next block up. Next block up. They're going to come flying. Out. That's it right there. Do the UE. Go. Come on, car. Yep. Go. 382's got it. He's moving. Uh. What'd he say? Uh, we're going, Code 1. Big one coming up. South. Hang on, dude. He might be coming back. He might be coming back at us. Watch out. He's coming. He's coming. Light it up. Stop right here. Just come to a stop. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. He's hung up. He's hung up. Get on it. Get on it. Get right on it. Please, I'm trying to get away. I'm fighting the guy. The party's in custody at 2-6 in Indiana. Y'all need fire? Hey, we need fire down here for that. Okay. I uh, disregard. These sons got fire on the ground. Somebody getting a fire extinguisher? Yeah, we got fire. All right. Briefly, what it was is we got a call on a uh, robbery just occurred at one of our convenience stores. Um, the clerk said a, a white female came in um, and reached right over the counter, grabbed the money. The call went out as a robbery. We weren't sure if it was or not. Um, I picked the car up on our in our city on 350 Highway. Uh, she refused to stop for us. And we followed her on into your city. High speed, slow speed. Okay. I 
Oh, no. How about a 93? Thanks. You need the VI in or you already got it? I got it. She's got all, she's got her scouring pads in there and she's got rolling paper here and then she's got uh, some urethane to uh, maybe refinish the floor or maybe sniff. I don't know. It looks like somewhere along the line threw something at her and hit the windshield. Yeah. We, we don't know on the felony charge yet. It's it a robbery, do. and, and it's, it's either going to wind up being a robbery or a till tap. But they can't do an inventory for an hour and a half. All right, why don't we uh, we'll take her to your place and have our guy go over there and write her old traffic right. tickets. That'll work. Can't do it. Yeah, that's fine. That'll okay. work. I'll get this money out of your pocket, OK? Relax. Stop going to Raytown without chasing you in Raytown. Well, I was scared. She looks good. That's no excuse, I know, but I was scared. Yeah. You sure? I don't have anything. So I guess no, they're going to do there. state charges here, but they're going to take her back to Raytown first and see if they're going to have state charges there. And then we'll get her back sometime tomorrow, probably. It's amazing she wasn't hurt in the wreck. I know it's that. It's amazing she didn't hit anybody. I got into law enforcement basically because I like to help people. Every day you come to work, it's it's something new. You come across so many different uh, challenges and 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 people that uh, you know every day is is a new experience. And if I can go home knowing that I helped somebody, it makes me sleep a whole lot better. Seventeen's coming up in the area. Seventeen twenty-nine. Got a. Uh, Disturbance. It's unknown at this time what uh, what the disturbance is about. One thirty. One thirty. One thirty. Are you in your division to sign a narcotics property for fifteen? How are you doing? Hey there, ma'am. Hello. What can, we, what can we do for you? My so-called daughter upstairs has been telling my wife she owes her for a bunch of checks. And she called 411 this evening and told her that if she didn't pay her tonight, she was going to have her beat up. OK, this this lady right here? Yes. yes. OK. And I am getting and, sick and, and tired of this. I got two screws in my knee, and I can't fight. Nine kids. So they're they're threatening to have their uh, brothers and sisters and all this come down here. They don't pay no checks against her, because the landlord ask ask them says uh, for them to prove the checks, mm -hmm. and she wouldn't do it. She won't do it. So okay. I don't know if they're up home or not right now, but I I intend to go up there. If you'll go up with me, I intend to go up there and make them prove what we owe money for. OK. Did uh, you said she threatened you? Or? Yeah. Okay. She's been threatening me for two oh, days. Did she do it over the phone or in yeah. person? No, over the phone. Over the phone. On, on the, the phone, phone and in person. She did it in person to you? Yeah, okay. Monday, okay. Monday, okay. Monday do, evening. Do you, want to, do you want to press charges against her, ma'am? Or do you just want to talk to her? Or? Well, just, do you want to press charges? If they don't want them. Show the checks? Yes, I'll press charges okay. on them. And she lives upstairs in yeah. which, which apartment number? Apartment over there. Which, up these stairs here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, it's the one on the right-hand side? Uh -huh. Right on the side. Okay, and what's her name? Marie. Hi, how you doing, ma'am? Is, uh, is your name Marie? Yeah. Is your name Marie? Yeah. Okay, did you have a argument with some people downstairs over some money or some rent being paid? No. You, I don't you even didn't? know what's going on. You didn't? No. Okay. Well, that's why we're here because they called and I guess they said they had some type of uh, argument with you over some money that. No, it was a big old argument. This was two, three days ago. Okay. Okay, it was well, done over with. We're talking and everything else now, so I don't know what's going on. Okay. They must be drunk or something again then. Okay. Well, is there any way you could come down there with us so we can get this thing straightened out while we're here? Just come down and talk to them so we, we don't have to come back here later on tonight? So I don't know what's up to you. Every time you drink, you want to argue. 
No, you called down here the other night and want to know what the hell your buggy was doing in the damn hallway. Well, you did and I told you I didn't there. want my damn house no more, and you that said, well, no you'd problem. send somebody down here to walk my ass for it. You're lost your well, you're, you're crazy, too. You are. I'm not yeah. going to sit here argue with you guys. I'm up here minding well, my own business. I don't want you coming down here. You're Danny coming down here to my house ever again. I don't what? want you calling me and cussing me out or arguing we with me or nothing else. Or threatening me. You guys lose you don't your mom. You don't threaten mom no more. You're we Danny ain't here to talk to you guys. The hell you did? You did Monday night or Tuesday night. I think mean, you guys better go I think you better help. go sober up or get off your damn drugs or something. I'm just still asleep, minding my own business. Yeah. You just called down there because we can prove down yeah. there that we got a damn phone call from you. I did talk to Mom. That's what time she's coming back home. Yeah, and you told her if you did, if she didn't pay you some damn money tonight, she's going to have her ass beat up. Oh, you guys lost your marbles. I know. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, Marie. Uh -huh. Hey, Marie. Marie, come here for a Marie. second, ma'am. Ma'am, come here for a second. Okay, you said this happened two days ago, like yeah. Tuesday or something? Monday and Tuesday. Okay. 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 Her husband come down here Monday morning and, and ask my wife if he could have go to bed with her. She said, hell no. I just asked okay. Then he come down here Monday night wanting to jump my ass. Okay. And I, I, I wouldn't come out the door because I know he has seizures. And he would have, if I'd have come out here, he'd have made a swing at me, and now I'd have had to knock him more on his ass, and then they would have called the police and had me arrested because I'd have jumped him for, uh, because he was having seizures. Okay. If, there, if there's no reason for you to come in contact with one another, I would just stay away. I am up to my own business. Okay. Don't make any phone calls down here to them. I ain't. I don't need nothing from them. Okay. I, I can. I can show you on, on my ID proof that they did call the okay. other night. Okay. Well, like I said. But I've got a beeper that every time somebody calls me, it, it registers. I understand. I understand. But for right now, since you guys aren't getting along, it's best you just don't talk to one another. I ain't. I'm up to you know. sleeping. Okay. Well, evidently they're saying that you called and. and you know, they don't want you calling. Okay? I ain't calling them. Okay. As long as you stay in your your place up there and don't call them, and you guys don't go up there to her place, everything here should be okay then, right? All right. Okay. All right. So, go on up there to your apartment. Since I'd set her damn buggy out in her hallway, she wanted to know why, and I said, because I don't want it down here in my damn house no more. Uh oh. Because so her husband out. come down here and, okay. and indicated that he wanted to go have go to bed with my wife. What's that thing? And I, I, I may be dumb, crazy, and ignorant, but I ain't that damn bad right. off yet. All righty, you guys, you have a nice day. Enjoy yourself. Okay. All righty. As, as long as they're drinking the alcohol and. They're both right there together in the same uh, residence. It's a, uh, it's just a matter of time before we're back there. Unit called rapid response. Basically, our primary objective is calls for service. Uh, we work the what are called the power hours from seven at night to three in the morning, and that's when the most calls for service are. We work in some of the hottest areas of the city. Uh, we have a squad of ten guys and a sergeant. We always work together. We have the same days off. We always work the same hours. And it's it's fun being in a, a unit like that because it just makes the night go that much better and that much smoother. Eastbound from Going to a foot chase over on uh, Oakley, Black Meal build out of a... Uh, out of a vehicle and an officer running, I guess, westbound. Where's he going to come out? He's going, he's going over towards the apartments. That's where he's going. This guy's going to turn. You got it. Let's go up to topping. Yeah. It's east. East, not west. Let's go get him. Okay, there's the bird. Right here. There he is, right there. This would be the fastest that, way in. That's a long way through there, though. I'm telling you. Well, on foot. but we don't have anybody here. We got officers down here. Oh, you want to try that? Well, you know, it just makes sense because, I mean, we've got officers down here and over there. We don't have anybody here. Okay, we don't have anything to do that now. Okay, they're directly 
west of us. Those guys are, they're right there. I tell you what, if he gets over, uh, if he gets over here off of uh, Vineyard Drive, we may lose him. He's running to the east again. 383s, we got him. We're running through. We're gonna come, come uh, east, 690. They're east in the woods. Okay. him in the trucks. He's okay, in these trucks. Okay, we got him in there. What? Three, three. I don't know the exact address of this uh, trucking firm. Six nine can help us out. We definitely got him boxed in. I wasn't more than 10 feet behind him when I lost him. Jim. Three, three. We need a uh, dog down here so we can get him. Don't have to be called out for He's in here. Yep, this guy's got a homicide pickup. See if the sergeant will okay it. He doesn't have a homicide pickup. He has a questioning right around the homicide unit. We call out for homicide sergeant okay. We'll be called out for homicide. I seen you running back there when you said you had him. I was out here. He came right I never him. saw him. He's in here somewhere. He's underneath this truck. Half these trucks are unlocked. Well, we can't can't see see Sure well, we'll get, he ain't gonna, we'll get him when we get him up. I tried that one, man. Please, this Hey, Mark, can you check those tires and see yeah. if he didn't dump anything in there? Have to move, though. Okay, I'm gonna roll you over. You're gonna sit up, all right? All right, sir. Sit up. Should have stopped when I told you to stop, Ellie. Stand up. What did we drop here? Oh, whoops. That's the second time with you, Elliot. Sit up. Stand up. He's back in here. He might throw his gun back up in there. Can I pull my pants up, please? Back all the way up in the corner. Stand still. How come you're running, man? Because I've got warrants. Why don't you just go take care of them? Because I zoom in out warrants. Well? Copy. 2132, copy, copy, copy. Elliot, homicide, I want to talk to you, too. Homicide? Yep. Is that my boy's suicide? 46, 18, 18. Which suicide? Uh, homicide, nothing to do with that. Did you get a cemetery's legs, Jim? Yeah. Crack cocaine. Not very much money. You must not have sold much. Did you lose some of your money? You don't know? How much did you have? I didn't even count it. Well, it's pretty thick, aren't they? Yeah. I knew once we had him boxed in there, when you saw him at one time, I knew he was confined in that one little area, and all we had to do was get that perimeter set, and we'd be okay. It's probably a good thing that uh, we got to him before the dog did. He probably wouldn't have had as pleasant of an experience. Very true. 
finally got this guy back in here without anybody getting hurt, which is always a good thing on the foot chases. When we started chasing him, we knew that Homicide wanted him in, in questioning in regards to some other incident, so you never know if he's going to be the suspect, if he's going to be armed or whatever. And there's always that chance that he's going to have a gun or a knife, and he's not going to go to jail, and he's going to try to hurt us. But it all worked out well. He didn't get hurt. More importantly, the officers didn't get hurt chasing him around back in the woods. He's off to jail, and he'll talk to the detectives. Hopefully, he can help him out with it. A lot of guys I've talked to out here, they said they have always wanted to be a police officer, and and I never did. I uh, had family that was police officers, and it never came up in our family, I think, because I was a female, and uh, nobody ever approached me about it. They didn't think it was an issue. So when I did decide to become a deputy with the sheriff's department, it was kind of a shock to our family. But I really enjoyed it since then, and, and I can't imagine doing anything else. 4379 traffic. We're going to check by with the deputies. Uh, did a traffic stop, and it appears he has some narcotics in the vehicle. Where are they coming from? The, over here on Hare Road from the uh, post office. Pulled them over for a headlight out and found a roach on the uh, dashboard. Yeah, it's a crack pipe in the driver's front pocket. Well, it looks like what they have is the uh, local drug dealer. You get a little bit of everything here. You have uh, powder cocaine. You have crack cocaine in uh, cookie form still. They have some needles with uh, unknown type narcotic in it. It didn't test positive for heroin, so it's either going to be cocaine or uh, methamphetamine. You have marijuana, um, crack pipes, pistol. Knife. Yeah, lots of pills, different kinds of pills. Guys, this is a real good street deal. I uh, worked it from a headlight up to this. That's uh, very impressive. I've been with the Sheriff's Department 12 years, and every time I think I've seen it all, <laughs> you see something that totally amazes you. Sometimes it's entertaining, and sometimes it's frustrating, um, but it's always different. I'm gonna pull this vehicle over in front of us. He's not uh, yielding right away to an emergency vehicle and see what's wrong with him. Yes, I'm Clara in disregard. How are you doing? Can you stay in your car? Go ahead and stay in your truck. You're fine. Close the window. Okay, why don't you turn the radio down? I just wanted to ask you, uh, can I see your driver's license and your insurance? Get out of the car. 4363, I've just been involved in a uh, fleet. I don't believe I have any injuries. Get out of the car. Step over there, step over there. Come here, stand right there. Put your hands up on the back of the car. Yeah, we're okay. Uh, have you had a little bit to drink tonight? No. no? Well, I can smell beer on you. You just ran into the back of a police car. Did you see the lights? Not till I got up on it. What? Not till I got up on it. Not till you ran into it? Okay. Sir, are you okay? Okay, you're not injured. <laughs> okay. Well, just stay here a minute. Uh, it looks like a drunk ran into the back of us. He appears to be intoxicated. He didn't see my lights. Everybody's okay. Um, they were sitting in the vehicle. I was talking to this guy, and he never slowed down. It was just 
this is my driver, this white car. Was he, was he stopped? Yeah, he was stopped. I was stopped a little bit over there, but um, he, this guy hit my car and then smashed into the back of this truck. Just relax. Follow this pin with your eyes. Don't move your head. You understand? Watch this pin right here, right? Don't go up with it. Don't use your arms for balance. Move down at your side. Look down at your feet. Count out loud so I can hear you. And don't stop the test until you've completed it. Do you understand? Okay, you may begin. Place your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for driving while intoxicated. field sobriety test. He failed it. He's going to uh, the station now. They're going to do an intoxilizer. He has no insurance. He was wearing his seatbelt. I'll say. <laughs> and blinders. I asked him, I said, did you see the overheads? Because I had my overheads on and he said, not till I got right up to you. Well, I have a chauffeur. My sergeant's going to drive me around now. I see. Uh, I see. See you later. All right. Okay, we're en route to a weapons disturbance. Uh, there was a man at the front door of the reportee's house with a handgun threatening to shoot the reportee. Uh, the guy's supposed to be southbound on, uh, on Pineland from, uh, from the residence. Uh, and we're at Pineland and Highway 90 right now. We're being stopped by train, so this may give us an opportunity to uh, catch him. He's probably going to be just on the other side of this uh, train right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the train. And uh, maybe we'll run into him. See a set of headlights that might look like a Ford pickup truck. 1231, Texaco, first Step out. Yeah, get your hands up, mister. Get your hands up. Keep your hands in the air. 42 at 51, step it up. Get over here and get face down on the ground, lady. Stay in the truck, mister. Face down on the ground. Face down on the ground. Put your face in the ground, ma'am. I'm not going to tell you again. Step out and keep your hands where I can see them. Put your cigarette out. Step out and keep your hands where I can see them. Walk towards me with your hands in the air. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Back up towards me. JP, keep your eye on her. Back up, back up, back up. Stop. Stop. 
Kneel down on the ground. Keep your hands in the air. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Cross your feet. Sit down on your feet. Sit down on your feet. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Forty-two releases. I got one in custody. Is there a weapon in the car? You got a weapon on you? No. No, no I don't. No. Okay. That's my cousin, Chris. Chris, Got a weapon on you? No, I ain't got nothing. Get up on your knees. Now stand up. Stand up for me. You're all right. How much have you had to drink, man? He's been drinking a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got a driver's license? Yeah, which, let us get it. Let which, us get it. Which pocket? There's not an inmate card in here also, is there? You ever uh, been in? I don't, I don't think he's a parolee. Yeah, you break uh, master, whatever, uh, whatever you're standing at, you break master. Where's the car card? Did they see the weapon? Just ask the complainant to come up here to Pineland and 90 at the railroad track so we can find out if they want to file charges or not. Yes, have have it. You raped my old lady, man. What am I supposed to do? Well, wait, wait till we get you to the station. We'll go over it, okay? Because you gotta, you gotta work with us. Don't, these, don't be working again. Can you loosen these? Yes, sir. We'll get them in just a minute. Let me close the door. Did you see a gun? No, sir. Uh, what did you see? I saw a brick in his hand. A brick in his hand? That's right. Okay. And you witnessed it. Okay. Yeah, the bricks busted in, in a in, in He a, broke in a the brick on the street. Were, were you inside your house? Yes. yes. He come beating okay. on my What do you want to do to him? I want to file charges on him definitely. Okay. 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 Um, for what assault, whatever. Terroristic threat. Right. Were you in fear of imminent death or serious bodily injury? I got my pistol, and if okay. he'd have still been there when I got back to my back door, I wouldn't have been responsible. Okay. I was scared. Okay. All right. Is he in your car? Yeah. Okay. Is that the man right there? I see him. Okay. And you do want to file charges? Absolutely. Okay. Let's uh, switch they, cuffs out real quick. Him? Did they see No them? gun, but he had a brick in his hand, and he was threatening with, with death. He threatened to shoot him. He and he was in fear of imminent death and serious bodily injury. And then when he seen my brother stand up, he said, he backed up two steps and said, I have a gun in my back pocket, pointed over my head, and said, I'll kill you too, for getting up. And at, time, I, at that time, I closed the door, and I went, got my gun. When I came back, he had gone across the street. We were on the phone with the police at the time, and uh, while we were on the phone with the police, they left in the truck. Well, what were we all arguing about for in the first place? I wish I knew. Do you even know he him? Just came, I don't know him. Do you I know, know her? her? Yes. She's, okay. she's been a good neighbor. Her and her husband's going through a divorce. But what he was telling me, and I don't understand where it comes from, that I was never going to put my hands on his old lady again. Okay. And I have no idea yet what he's talking about. Okay. So what we've done is we've arrested the female who was operating the vehicle for driving while intoxicated, uh, and uh, more than likely this is going to be her second offense. Uh, and we arrested the male. We're going to try to uh, get the DA to accept aggravated assault with a deadly weapon on him. Uh, the minimum is going to be a terroristic threat, but uh, the train, uh, we can, owe, we can uh, owe this arrest to Southern Pacific for the train being there because it, it held the suspect up just long enough for us to get in the area and get him stopped. So. It turned out good for everybody and nobody got hurt and we get to go home when our eight hours is up. It's time to the Harris County Organized Crime and Narcotic Task Force. Uh, primary function is uh, highway interdiction, uh, assisting the uh, undercover officers whenever they have a narc narcotic case, search warrants or by bus. Everything we do is narcotic related. So it kind of makes it pretty interesting and it's pretty hectic most of the time because narcotics, you always want to find guns and a lot of money and people don't want to lose their money guns are, are dope, so it keeps your uh, stress level pretty high. Okay, we're going to stop this vehicle here. The driver, the passenger doesn't have, they don't have their seatbelts on. Let's see what the, their story is. And...
Passenger, close that door. Close the door, passenger. Driver, come here. How's it going, man? All right. You have a driver's license? Yes, sir. You live here? This is my home where my mama her. OK. Where are, you, where are you coming from? Come down to this house. OK. You have insurance on the vehicle? Mitchell, do you have any warrants for your arrest or anything? Type of uh, ticket that, that you haven't taken care of? Probably, I might have some tickets. You might have some tickets? I might have okay. some tickets. Do you have anything on you? Any type of knives, guns, anything like that? Anything going to harm me? OK, do me a favor. Why don't you go stand in front of your car? Okay, I want to talk to your partner there. Just go sit, sit right there on, on the hood of the car. Just relax. How's it going, guy? Oh. OK, hold on. Don't move. Don't move, OK? If you move, you're, you're, you're going to get hurt. Now I want you to let me, let me see your hands. We've got an undetermined amount of marijuana here in plain view. Give, just give me your other hand. Sit right there and just give me your other hand. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. OK. I'm going to listen to me. I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to kneel you down right here. Yes, sir. Kneel down. Kneel down right there on both knees. I got no weapon. OK, well, I'm just going to make sure that you don't. Me a favor. I'm gonna take you down. Just lay down. Don't move. Come here. Let me see your other hand, man. Okay. Put your hands right there. Put them in my wallet, sir. Put them in okay. my wallet. Yeah. What I'm being arrested for? Okay, ma'am, just stay right there, okay? And I'll explain something to you. Spread, spread your legs. Well, ma'am, if you look inside the floorboard out there, that vehicle. We just found, I just found that in the car. I'm trying to take it back to that vehicle. I don't want to be in no trouble. OK. Look at me. You are under arrest for possession of marijuana. I you ain't had no marijuana. OK, well, but you are operating this, this vehicle, correct? I ain't had no marijuana. Okay, are you operating this vehicle? I'm operating the vehicle, okay. but I ain't got no marijuana. Where is it? The back of the car. Have a seat. 304 to 303. Go ahead. Are you at the office? Negative. Wonder if you can check by with me over here in McNair. You got two in custody with uh, quite a bit of marijuana. Hey, I've been around. Okay. Hey, sir, I'm moving right here. Some man's right here. Yeah, I'm fixing to get you up, man. You, you do understand what the reason why I put you down like that because I got two of y'all and everything. I don't know if y'all had any weapons or anything like that. So, okay, okay. when I say three, stand up. One, two, three. You're walking over to this vehicle and just lean over the hood, over I me, mean, over this uh, window here. Just lean over, relax. You want to tell me about this stuff? I'm gonna tell you the truth. Lean sir. over the window, man. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Well, I hope I'm not. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Somebody, I don't know who it is, but I found it in my driveway this morning. There's a lot of traffic be coming back and forth up this freeway every night. Okay, you so you're, you're telling me that you found it, this marijuana it, it don't, lane? It don't belong to me, not him. Okay, but wait a minute. You're, you're, you're telling me that you found it on your, on your driveway? On my property last night. Okay. And I was going to do something with it. I wasn't going to keep it. But I just came home from jail. Okay. I ain't trying to go back. What did you want to do with it? Turn it in. Turn it in. Why didn't you? On, why did, on hold on a second. Hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why didn't you call us from over there, from a, from a your? I rather take it to the police station to get it. You rather take it? Yep. Cause okay. I, cause I, it plays right here. The most of my knowledge as far as law enforcement that I, I trust is Wallaceville. And I was going to go there and take it over there because it's the same. I just did nine months stay jail. For what? Try to, for delivery of a controlled substance. OK. I was like, say, man, I just found some weed out here by my house. I said, it ain't none of mine. I ain't going to get in trouble behind this. I said, hey, I'm going to go to the laws or something to them. There's something out here by my house. OK. In the closest, in the closest station I know besides way in Houston is Wallaceville. We had we to be going to look for jobs the morning after that Friday right there. I said, I'm going to get rid of this because I ain't finna be in trouble behind nothing. So you were just trying to be a good Samaritan, right? Yes, sir. These are swishers. What we call swishers are blunts. What they'll do is they'll take, cut the cigar open, pull off the old stuff out of it. Possession of marijuana. Stuff it full of marijuana. The thing about it is they'll drive down the road smoking that thing. I think the man ain't going to get them because it's just another right. guy smoking a cigar. 
And uh, a lot of cops won't, some cops won't, won't catch it. A lot of cops do. It's the interdiction. I see Swisher's inside a car. I'm hunting the thing. Not a bad stop. Not a bad stop at all. That's clear. Just have a seat. Dogs aren't gonna bite. It's locked up in that cage. I already patted it down real thoroughly. And... How much money? 360. 360. Do you work anywhere? I'm parents. Sure. I do odd jobs helping people around right here. Ouch. Come on. Slide in. Get comfortable. Well, the stop was just done by uh, passengers and the driver. Did not, they, they didn't have their seatbelt on. Uh, I looked down on, on the floorboard in plain view. Look, I see this clear plastic baggage containing his marijuana. <laughs> Only in America. We'll see you. Okay.